sleep like a buttercup. You're a bubby dog. Show them all what I'm made of. Strut down the hall. Won't stop till I get enough. Welcome to a, a deep dive. Um, we're going to be looking at Nikola Tesla. And... Um, well, a lost interview with him, I should say. We've got some really intriguing source material here. Uh, it seems to reveal his personal philosophies, his beliefs about the universe, and uh, and humanity's potential. It's amazing that we even have this, right? I mean, it was undanited. We don't know who the interviewer was. Mm -hmm. um, it's like piecing together, like we're piecing together this puzzle of one of history's most brilliant minds. Yeah, and, and the puzzle starts with a very intriguing statement. He refers to himself as a defeated man. Mm. Defeated. This is the man who revolutionized our understanding of electricity and uh, and basically lay, laid the groundwork for the modern world. Yeah. It really does make you stop and think, huh. Um, I think this suggests a deep dissatisfaction, a feeling that perhaps he hadn't achieved all that he set out to do. Yeah. Makes you wonder what he might have considered his greatest failures, mm. despite all of his groundbreaking success. Yeah, and that kind of leads us to his grand vision. Tesla wanted to light up the whole Earth um, by tapping into the planet's own energy. Wow. Which is, I mean, pretty mind-blowing in itself. Yeah. But then he goes even further, saying right. we can tap into all sorts of energies, even those found in music and nature. Um, he actually uses the scent of a rose as an example. Oh, wow. Saying it can be used as medicine and that sunlight can be our food. It's such a unique way of looking at energy, isn't it? Not just as something that powers our machines, yeah, but as a force that flows through all things, yeah. connecting us to the world around us. He even talks about feeding the hungry with stellar or terrestrial energy and finding a wine to quench the world's thirst. Mm. Do you think... What do you think he meant by that? Yeah, literally. Or is there a deeper meaning? Yeah. It's hard to say for sure, but I'm kind of leaning towards metaphorical. I mean, think about it. What truly satisfies our deepest hungers and thirsts? Could he be talking about knowledge or connection mm -hmm. or maybe even like a deeper understanding of the universe itself? That's a really good point. And speaking of understanding the universe, um, let's talk about visualization. Okay. Tesla was a staunch believer in the power of visualization. Yeah. Claiming he used it to conceive his inventions and even to correct design flaws before building anything. Wow. He said he could solve complex equations in his mind Probably. without writing a single thing down. That's incredible. Yeah. It speaks to a level of mental discipline yeah. and focus that most of us can only dream of. Yeah. You're telling me? He wasn't just, uh, like, this wasn't just some whimsical idea for him either. Right. You know, he mentioned receiving recognition from the High Lama in Tibet for this gift of mm. visualization. Oh, wow. Now, for those who might not be familiar, the High Lama in Tibet holds a very respected position in Tibetan Buddhism, and, um, and they often emphasize meditation and mental development. It seems that Tesla's ability to visualize was so powerful yeah. that it transcended cultural and scientific boundaries. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that kind of takes us to another fascinating aspect of Tesla's beliefs. Um, his claims of heightened senses. He said he could hear thunder from 150 kilometers away wow. and see colors in the sky that others couldn't. He even described experiencing illusions, but not as a sign of illness, but rather as the mind breaking free from the mm. limitations of our three-dimensional perception. That's really interesting. And he had a vision of his mother's death while he was in Paris, which turned out to be true. Wow, it makes you wonder what else we might be missing, right? Are there other <laughs> dimensions or realities Either. that our senses are simply not attuned to? Yeah, it's a great question. It is, and it's these sorts of experiences that likely informed what Tesla called his 10 conditions for angelic adoption. It's almost like a roadmap. Great. To unlocking your potential and uh, and achieving a higher state of being. Yeah, like a set of guidelines. Okay, let's break that down a bit because angelic adoption sounds pretty mysterious. Yeah. What exactly did he mean by that? Yeah, it seems to represent a personal philosophy focused on self-improvement, yeah. almost like a set of guiding principles yeah. for living a more purposeful and enlightened life. And what were some of these conditions? I'm really curious to know what Tesla considered essential yeah. for reaching this angelic state. Well, he emphasizes awareness of one's mission, um, unwavering determination, and the purification of both mind and body. Mm -hmm. There's a strong emphasis on controlling emotions, mastering visualization, and even a reference to 
Kundalini yoga. Kundalini yoga. Yeah. That adds a whole other dimension right. to our understanding of Tesla. It seems he was deeply interested in exploring the connection between science yeah. and spirituality. And even today, we see more and more people seeking to integrate these two seemingly disparate fields. Absolutely. And speaking of connections, Tesla's view of the universe itself was all about interconnectedness. Um, he believed the universe is made of a single substance and a supreme energy that manifests as infinite forms of life. Wow. Humans, stars, amoebas, the sun. He saw everything as part of this vast interconnected web. It's a pretty radical concept it, for his time, even for today, I think. He even stated that the universe is more moral than humans. What do you make of that? Hmm. That's a really thought-provoking statement. Mm -hmm. um, I think it suggests that there's an inherent order yeah. and harmony in the universe that we as humans often disrupt with our actions. Yeah. Perhaps he's urging us to consider the ethical implications right. of our choices, no. not just on a personal level, but on a cosmic scale. It's like he's saying we need to raise our own level of morality to be in harmony with right. the universe. Absolutely. And this brings us to another fundamental belief of Tesla's. Okay. Everything is light. He was completely fascinated by electricity, even claiming to be light in human form. Um, he said light particles contain various forms of energy, some of which we haven't even discovered yet. And think about his idea that stars and suns disperse their light, mm. and this light becomes part of human lives, eventually leading to our rebirth as a new form of light. It's a beautiful and poetic vision yeah. of the cycle of life and energy. He was really weaving together science and spirituality into a truly unique understanding of the universe. But it's not just about these grand cosmic concepts. Yeah. Tesla's personal life and habits also offer some fascinating insights. Okay. It's amazing how Tesla could like turn even discussing his daily routine into like this fascinating exploration of human potential. Right. He mentioned only needing an hour of sleep each night to feel completely refreshed. Well. Right. And uh, when he faced a problem that he couldn't solve, he would intentionally think about it in his dreams. It's almost like he was um, hacking his own biology. Yeah. Long before biohacking became a thing. You know, yeah. He even talked about controlling his blood flow and. Mm -hmm. Uh, other bodily processes with his mind. Right. Makes you wonder what other capabilities we might have if we could, you know, I know. tap into that level of control. And uh, there's this really funny anecdote about Mark Twain. Apparently, Tesla built a machine that could induce feelings of happiness oh, yeah. through vibrations. Yeah. And uh, Twain insisted on trying it out. I remember that. Yeah. Didn't it end with him running out of the room clutching his pants? Yeah. It seems that even Tesla's attempts to create happiness through technology could have some... Uh, unexpected side effects. Yeah, it's a good reminder that even brilliant minds can have their uh, mishaps. For sure. But let's not forget that Tesla's ideas about vibration and energy were truly groundbreaking for his time. Right. Speaking of groundbreaking, though, um, some of his views were definitely a product of his era. Yeah. Like his belief that women were the greatest thieves of sexual energy, which he saw as a key to spiritual power. Yeah, it's a statement that's definitely jarring to modern ears. Mm -hmm. um, it's important to remember that even brilliant minds can hold beliefs that are now considered outdated or even offensive. Yeah. It's a reminder that we need to, you know, engage with these historical figures with a critical lens, acknowledging both their brilliance and their flaws. Absolutely. But let's uh, let's shift gears for a moment so, and talk yeah. about Tesla's relationship with nature. He spoke about birds landing on his windowsill every morning and uh, and how he believed that humans once had wings real and visible. This speaks to a yearning for a deeper connection with nature, doesn't it? I mean, it's something that a lot of us feel today. Yeah. You know, he seemed to believe that humanity has lost touch with this um, innate connection. Right. And that regaining that sense of wonder and interconnectedness is so crucial. He even drew a parallel between the structure of the universe and music. Oh, wow. And uh, speaking of music, yeah. didn't he say something about Einstein needing to hear the music of the spheres? Yes. Tesla felt that Einstein's theories were incomplete because they didn't account for like what he saw as this um, underlying harmony and beauty of the cosmos. Yeah. It's a fascinating perspective that suggests that science and art aren't as separate as we often think they are. It's almost like he saw the universe as this like giant symphony right. with every element from stars to humans yeah. playing a part in this like harmonious unfolding. It's beautiful. And this brings us back to Tesla's emphasis on energy. Yeah. Not just as a physical force, but as a spiritual one. Yeah. He believed that understanding and harnessing energy in all its forms is the key to unlocking our true potential. 
mm-hmm. and creating a better world. And this message is, I think, even more relevant today as we face challenges related to energy, climate change, and social division. Now, before we wrap up, I want to touch on one final point that really resonated with me. Tesla mentioned that the purpose of a shooting star is to be chased and captured. Wow, that's a powerful metaphor, isn't it? Yeah. It suggests that we should never stop striving for what seems impossible Mm. and that our ultimate goal should be to reach for the stars. Yeah. Both literally and metaphorically. Exactly. Even in the face of adversity, we should never give up on our dreams. So for all of us non-Tesla geniuses out there, what can we take away from all of this? Well, I think the key takeaway is that Tesla's vision wasn't just about technological advancements. It was about expanding our consciousness. Yeah. And our understanding of ourselves and the universe. He challenged us to think bigger, to see the interconnectedness of everything, and uh, and to tap into this incredible potential that lies within each of us. And while some of his ideas might seem far-fetched, it's important to remember that he predicted things like wireless communication and renewable energy long before they became reality. Hmm. So who knows, maybe some of his more um, radical ideas will eventually become the world we live in. I like that. There's a lot we can still learn from Tesla's unconventional thinking, even if we don't agree with everything he said. Yeah, it's like he's saying, don't just settle for what's right in front of you. Hmm. You know, reach for those seemingly impossible dreams. It's pretty inspiring. It is, yeah. And, you know, Tesla himself said, the present is theirs. The future, for which I really worked, is mine. Mm. It seems like that future that he envisioned might be closer than we think. I hope you're right. So what stood out to you the most from this uh, deep dive into Tesla's world? What are you going to be thinking about when you walk away from this? I think for me, it's this idea of this interconnected web of energy. It's such a powerful way to look at the universe and our place in it. Yeah. You know, Tesla wasn't just talking about electricity. He was talking about like a deeper connection. Mm. to everything around us. I think that's what makes Tesla so fascinating. He was a scientist, an inventor, but also a philosopher and like almost a mystic in a way. Right. He saw the world in a way that most people just don't. Yeah. And even if some of his ideas might seem a bit out there, there's a real beauty and poetry to his vision. Yeah. You know, he truly believed in the power of human consciousness Mm. to shape the future. I think that's a message that we can all take to heart, whether we're trying to, you know, invent a new technology or just trying to live a more fulfilling life. Absolutely. Remember that shooting star analogy? Yeah. Maybe the real challenge isn't just chasing those dreams, but having the courage to capture them. Well said. Well, thanks for joining us on this uh, electrifying journey into the mind of Nikola Tesla. Yeah, it's been fun. We hope you've enjoyed this deep dive as much as we have. And who knows? Maybe you'll even have some Tesla-inspired dreams tonight. Your puppy dog Show them all what I'm